every single time you speak with someone, there is an opportunity for something awesome. Everyday KT, 459 opportunity conversation, get to know people. Next time you talk to somebody, actually get to know that person. Do more than just say, hi, this is me, blah, 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 I got shit to do, help me out. No, have a legitimate conversation. Maybe you'll uncover something, maybe you can help them out. I called today, had some stuff I had to take care of, made a phone call. Big, huge corporate conglomeration, call center, all that crap. Guy picked up the phone. Actually had a conversation with him. Guess what? I just got off the phone with that guy. He's going to be a client of mine. It has nothing to do with what I called for. But he had another idea of something cool that he wants to do. And I'm like, I can help you with that. And he's like, well, I'm going to call you later when I get out of work. I'm like, hell yes. Just got off the phone, a nice half hour conversation with this guy. Awesome guy. His idea is going to be epic. I'm going to help him make the world see what he's going to do. It's going to be badass stuff he's working on. All from talking to the guy like a regular human being, not getting on the phone and saying, blah, 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 bitching, moaning, complaining, whining about your service or whatever it is. Realizing the guy on the other phone, he's got bills to pay. He's got a mortgage problem or rent or he's got bills. He's got to buy food. He's just trying to make ends meet. So every single conversation has an opportunity to be amazing. It could be anything. In my case, you know, I've got a client out of it. You could be talking to somebody. Boom. Like, well, oh. They wind up wearing a kilt a week later. You wind up talking to somebody. Boom. You save their life. It could be anything. Talk to somebody. Boom. You're like, wait a minute. I've got a friend that needs to meet you. Boom. Hook them up. They get married two years later. Every conversation is an opportunity. Every single one of them. Do not for a moment think that just because a person looks or sounds a certain way, there's not something there. It doesn't have to be financial. It could be somebody who just knows stuff. Winds up being a guy's like, hey, I got a problem here, and I know you know about this stuff. Can you give me a hand for a second? It could be something that simple. Or it could be something as grandiose as they become your mentor. All awesome stuff. So, next time you call, you're talking to somebody, do more than just, yup, this, this is the information. Make it happen. Talk to them. Get to understand them. Get to know them. Figure out who they are as a person, not just the one person on the other end of the phone line or the other end of the whatever you're using to converse. Talk to these people. They are awesome. And Chris Kulak's going down. So, with that, Everyday KT, 500 and 459, we're going to throw some Kiltology on this thing. Well, here we go. Talking about converse, conversing with people. So, this this applies. It's Kiltology, Volume 2. It's on Amazon. Please go buy a copy. And I want to say thank you to all the patrons who are helping make this a reality. The more people that become patrons of mine on Patreon, it's in the link. The more of you that there are, the more I can focus on this and not anything else. Even if it's only a buck a month, every nickel helps. So I appreciate it, and those of you who are helping out, I really appreciate all the help you guys are giving me. Kiltology number 392, politically correct. For the love of all that is haggis, please do not get into an argument with a kilty about political correctness. The very concept of being politically correct in the presence of kilties, or damn near anybody else, is like sailing a boat with a screen door on the bottom. Total waste of time doomed to epic failure from the start. Who, in their right mind, talks to a man wearing a kilt, which is by definition a, man, a man's skirt, may be being cautious about the sensitivities of those around them at the pub. I've not met a guilty who has not been the butt of insanely degrading and derogatory insults from the mouths of those very same people espousing the need for politically correct speech and behavior. And at the time of writing this, I wrote, happened to me last week, epic fail is an understatement. Thing is, I, I think this was written in 2012. Yeah, this is probably about a week or two ago. Same problem. It doesn't go away. 
Political correctness is ridiculous. Last time I checked, pol politicians are not correct. Doesn't matter who they are, what you think, and blah. Politicians are crazy. Political correctness is an insanity and an insane attempt to whitewash everything. So everybody's kind and nice and thinks the same. Well, I call BS. You do your thing. Let your freak flag fly. Do who you are. Do what you do. Be who you are. Go kick ass. Dave Crandall, thank you. He likes my kilt. This is my vintage Utila Kilt Survival. Uh, I think it was sewn in 2005. I have beat this thing senseless more times than I can count. It's already ripping. Even the patch I used to mend it is coming apart. But it still is awesome and it's soft as hell. So get out there. Go kick some ass, all of you. Remember, talk to people. Talk to them. Understand them. Get past the, uh, I, would you like to buy stuff? No. Figure out who they are as people. Because once you can connect on that level, nothing's, nothing is impossible. You can move mountains simply by talking to people. So get out there, kick ass. Do me a favor. Check out hashtag B-O-T-K-K-O. Chris and I are doing a kilt off. I am going to win this damn thing. Come hell or high water. He's got the first five, but the last five are mine, and I already got some ideas, and he's not going to be happy about it. So I'll see everybody tomorrow. Go kick ass. Have an awesome day tomorrow, and be strong. Put a kilt on.